Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my challenge workouts that is starting on this coming Monday, January 15th. So it's gonna be set up so that way you have beginner all the way to advanced options, no equipment, or if you have a pair of dumbbells. I highly recommend that you have a pair of dumbbells if at all possible or a resistance band. It just helps you be able to use them if you can't do the body weight portions of some of these movements or have alternative movements. All the video speed is sped up times two and I will be doing a voice over over the video so that way you can have additional feedback where you need it. So let me know what you like the most and what you want to see next and like and subscribe for more of this content and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, also if you want to join the challenge the link um, is in the description of the video and it's free and it starts on January 15th. The deadline is Saturday, January 13th at midnight, midnight Pacific Standard Time. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Okay guys, let's get started. So if your first option for a movement is either step ups or lunges, if you are more advanced, I would prefer you to do both. So the big thing here is you need to drive through the foot that's on the box and control your way up onto the box and on your way down. If you are more advanced, the foot that's coming off the ground should not touch the box. If you are beginning and just working through this movement, I really would encourage you to just go ahead and step onto the box with both feet and use that same foot to step back down just like that. Um, you'll see it a little bit later, just a slower version with that leg all the way through. If you are more advanced, go ahead and drive through with that knee all the way up to hip level and use the opposite hand just like you would if you were running. The big thing here is control your balance unlike I was doing here. Make sure your knee is staying over your foot and that you're actually using that leg muscle and that glute hamstring region of your body. Nice control, keep a neutral spine, and also make sure you're, you're keeping your core tight and focusing on balance rather than repetitions. You can always add weight if you need to in order to make it more challenging or the, the more movement you have, so like this knee drive actually makes it harder. So take your time and work up to it. So the next option or another movement, if you're more advanced, is lunges. So if you're a beginner, I would encourage you to do a lunge hold. Make sure you're in a 90-90 position. That knee is over your ankle and the back knee is level with the back ankle. Move forward as you get more advanced to doing stationary lunges and then start with walking lunges and then add weight as you get more advanced. Okay, the next movement of this circuit is box squats. So you can do this with a chair or whatever you can. Big focus here is to start by pushing your hips back and then sitting down. Make sure you keep your legs and your glutes contracted so that way you actually can get up using your legs. Also, make sure your knees stay over your feet or slightly out on either side of them. You can always wait this movement if you need to um, to make it more difficult. I'm showing you a couple different variations here. The big thing when it comes to squats is your feet should be pointed slightly forward with your toes slightly out. Your knees should stay over your feet. Try not to go past them, especially on a box squat because you have that extra ledge. This is a great mo movement to help you practice for body weight squats, which is the last movement option for this, depending on your level, is body weight squats, and then you'd work up to body weight squats with weight. So if you see here, I'm performing that same movement just without a box. Watch my knees, my knees are staying over my toes but also going slightly out. The next movement is a row. You can row with whatever object you have available. I would prefer you to use a pair of dumbbells. Drive with your elbows back, make sure you're engaging your lats. The next movement option, depending on your level, is a push-up. You can start with a wall push-up or on a step or on the ground. 
The next movement is a shoulder push up, um, depending on your level. Uh, this one, you need to make sure your back is in line. Yeah, I have to bend my knees. I don't have a lot of hamstring flexibility, um, but you can always do that against a wall or on a couch. If you cannot do that, then I would recommend doing a shoulder press. Make sure your hands stay over your elbows. The next movement option is a tricep dip. You can do this on a couch or a step, whatever you have. The further your feet go out, the harder it is. Your other option, in case you can't do that, is kickbacks with a pair of dumbbells or with a resistance band. The next movement option is a bicep curl. You're gonna put that side of the back of the elbow in the inside of your leg and curl up to your shoulder. If you don't have a weight, use your other arm to add resistance. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. Okay, ab options. You can either do Russian twist based on your ability, you with or without weight. The other option is a plank. A plank, you need to have a straight line from your head to your, your heels as much as possible as I have here. You can see I'm pulling my belly button to my spine. My glutes are engaged. You can put your knees down if you need to make it easier. Um, you can try putting your elbows down um, or you can put your knees down at the same time. Whatever makes it where you can complete it. The last movement I have is a hip bridge or hip bridges, depending on your ability. Hold if you're a beginner, actually do movement like these thrust as you get more advanced. Big thing is, is you wanna make sure your belly button is pulled to your spine and your pelvis is rotated inward. These are marches. If you are even more advanced, just make sure your hips are a little higher. And this is a heel plank. This is a great movement to help work your entire back half and you can always make this more advanced by doing all of that with a weight. And the last thing is a breathing cycle. So you're gonna focus on taking deep breaths and pushing your belly button all the way to your spine at the end. So that is the end of this video. If you have any questions, please comment them below. The big thing is, is you should do all the movements um, for reps or time, whatever the case may be, and do the one that you can do in your ability. I tried to show a bunch of different movements, but also different ways to perform the same movement based on your level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.